we have Houston-based cosmetic surgeon, Dr. Nico, joining us, and he's answering a few questions regarding the mommy makeover. Our Hello, first... Hi, Dr. Nico. How are you? Good, thank you. Our first question comes from Diana. She asks, what all is included in the mommy makeover? Diana, that's a, a great question. Uh, mommy ma makeover typically includes some type of breast procedures, uh, some type of body contouring procedures, and nowadays uh, we include the buttock augmentation or buttock enhancement for a lot of people. For a lot of moms, after having one, two, or three kids, there's a lot of loss in the volume of the buttocks, so we typically, instead of just throwing the fat away, we add the fat, we enhance that with the buttock reaching with the fat, uh, the breast procedure depends on each patient. Some patients just need a little implant for a small lift. Some people require a little lift in addition to that. Every patient's different. For the abdominal area and the contouring, uh, typically we're talking either tummy tuck, a liposuction, or a combination. Depends on what your condition is, what your goals are. We have a lot of moms who are who were very active when before they had kids, and they're used to their nice physique and they want to get back to it. So of course there's a lot more work involved, but for some mom just getting back into looking great in their clothes and being comfortable is their goal. So everybody's a little different. Okay, our next question comes from Sandra. She would like to get a mommy makeover, has had two kids and is considering having another child, but isn't sure. She wants to know what happens if she has the surgery and gets pregnant again. Sandra, that's a great question. Uh, my patient populations who are getting mommy makeovers are getting younger and younger because the, a lot of patients, a lot of moms know that that's an available procedure for after having kids. And to tell you the truth, a lot of moms after having one or two kids and they're not sure they really don't want to wait another five years to find out if they're going to have another child or not, and so they want to look good. And But I do have a, only a handful of patients, um, I would say about five patients, who have gone through the mommy makeover. They had their breast done, they had their tummy tuck, had their liposuction, and they um, accidentally get pregnant or get pregnant that's, you know, that's not really planned or sooner than they, what they want. But then uh, after delivery, they all follow up with me. Um, and to my surprise, a lot of them have really um, retained most of their results. Um, maybe a little touch up here and there to get back to what they want. Um, in terms of are they gonna be able to have kids? Uh, if that's what you're asking, there, there's no reason why um, medically uh, you can't have another kid, so that's always possible. Okay, our next question comes from Nicole, who states, I'm a stay-at-home mother with three small children. I'd like to get a mommy makeover, but I'm concerned about being able to take care of my kids during the recovery process. How long will that take? Yes, you're, you fit the typical profile of what we see. Uh, moms who have two or three, and um, they have to take care of them, because a lot of times the you know, husband's working, and so they're thinking, okay, so who's going to take care of my kids and um, who's going to take care of me? And those, uh, those two aspects are important. Taking care of yourself is very important and taking care of your kids is very important. So typically what I tell patients is you really do need somebody to help take care of you or get, uh, provide your needs for 10 days or so. And then after that, uh, you can get back on your feet and you can help out with the kids a little bit more. Depending on the needs of the kid, um, you may need just a little bit of help, or you need a lot of help. Every, every individual case is different. Uh, luckily, a lot of our patients have mothers that are nearby, relatives, friends that can help out. And we always try to provide uh, care, uh, and help for those patients to help really figure out what they can do. I have, uh, we have a great staff that help, pa that help patients take care of their family and the little one afterwards, um, but more importantly, take care of the patients. So we do provide some additional help that are available because we know that it's very difficult to go through that recovery process and then have to worry about your family. 
So we, we work with each individual patient and plan it out so that way they have a good recovery process, a good post-op experience, and that's what really, really makes a difference between someone that has a great experience and went through it and, and they get happy results versus someone who just spend too much time taking care of their family, they didn't plan ahead, and, and that could be troublesome. Okay, well we have this, a question of the same regard from Melissa. She has very small children and wants to know what are the restrictions post-surgery? Yeah, with very small children, now again, every, every mom knows that um, each kid has his or her individual needs. So uh, there's no generalization that I can put for every patient, but I'll try to give some guidelines at least. Uh, with small kids, now, I, I, again, I, I tell them, you, you need somebody to help out with the small kids um, for about a week or so. And then in addition to having someone maybe help you along, too. And realistically, I tell my um, patients, look, um, we don't live in a world where you can have six weeks of downtime. Uh, people have to work, and there's a lot of things going on. So I really try to teach our patients methods on how to go back to taking care of the kids faster by working on their core, working on strengthening their, um, their core to help take care of their family and do the heavy lifting without harming their surgical results. Okay, great. Well, our last question comes from Jessica and she wants to know what is the cost for the surgery? Yes, that's uh, another uh, common question, Jessica. Um, and I, I have to tell you that the cost varies, of course, depending on the, uh, the shape that you're, each patient's in, and um, it depends on your goals. Um, we have a lot of people who were in fantastic shape, and now they're, you know, they're not in fantastic shape, but they can't wait to work out for two years to get back and then try to, they want to kind of, jumpstart a little bit. So knowing that, uh, we have to figure out, okay, what do we need to do to get you there? If you need just a little liposuction, it could be just a little bit, but, but typically I tell you that on average, a mommy maker will start out at about $10,000, and that includes breast work, uh, stomach work, and if you need additional liposuction to get that really small waistline and maybe get a little volume in the buttocks, it could add up a little bit more. Um, and, and as you add each procedure. So depending on what your ultimate goals are, um, if you want to go have a lot of improvement, then the more work will be done. But if you want to take it step by step uh, because of financial reasons, and that's a very viable option also. Well, thank you, Dr. Nika, for taking the time out to answer these concerned parents' questions regarding the mommy makeover procedure. Yes, of course. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And I know I'm sure there is, uh, there are questions that I didn't answer. And so if you want to post some questions online, uh, we're more than happy to answer it. Um, you can always call our office, uh, 713-960-1311, to talk to someone live, and they can answer it to you a lot more. Um, and, of course, coming in and let me talk to you, spending a whole hour with you, and really um, you know, looking at what your needs are, and that, that, that's really the best way. And I would love to visit you if, uh, if you have that opportunity. Thank you.